Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to mirror an armature in Blender. My name is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com and essentially what we're going to be looking at today is the importance of a very particular function within Blender that enables us to mirror an armature as well as edit on and mirror. So without further ado, let's get started. So what we're going to be looking at today is we're going to be naming our bones. We're going to make sure that we're working on the right axis. We're going to be looking at how to symmetrize an armature. And I'm going to be highlighting the importance of naming. That one's really important. And then we're going to be looking at how to enable symmetrical editing within Blender. So we're able to edit the armature uh, that has a symmetrical form. So let's get into it. So step one, preparing our bones. So a lot of you may have something such as this in your project where we've created the uh, main root and then we've got our offshooting limbs. Uh, now, some people, what they like to do is they'll grab a limb, for example, this limb, then they'll go control uh, shift S, excuse me, uh, and then cursed world origin, and they'll set the pivot point, 3D cursor. This is very valid. Uh, you do have to then affect the roles. And this is kind of like the manual way of doing things. And then you would duplicate and then scale on the X axis by minus one. Uh, and then you would have to then edit the role. So this is one way of going about um, editing as such. However, oopsie daisies. However, there is an easier way. And we're going to be looking at how to pair the bones to do this. And that's by using the symmetrize button. Symmetrize. So I've just showed you one way. Now we're going to be looking at a little bit easier. So in the armature menu, when we're in edit mode, and I have to have my bones selected. So I'm just pressing A to do that in the new 2.8 hotkeys, you could just double tap A and it will release all those. So in my build, it's A and then A again. I just find that easier. So armature and then find symmetrize. So armature, symmetrize. And as you're going to notice, uh, first things first, only the legs have been symmetrized. Now, why is that? You may ask yourself. Well, there's a very particular reason as to why that is. And it has to do with, if we look at the arm and we look at the legs, there's a fundamental difference between them. And I've got the name showing up for a particular reason. If we look at the legs, they're named in a very particular way. Whereas we look at the arms, well, we just got shoulder, we got arm, we got forearm, legs, left up leg, left leg, left foot. So let's go back. So the names, have a drastic effect on the usability of an armature. So as we saw down here, because this was named left and left and left and left, it was able to work out that, hey, I need to symmetrize this because this is the left side of the object. So it flipped it and it renamed it for us, if you noticed. Now this one actually didn't uh, go. Now, that may be due to either the naming convention or another reason. So a common naming convention in Blender is dot L. Uh, you can do caps or lowercase, but if you do caps, stick with caps. If you do lowercase, stick with lowercase because it is case dependent. So let's just check that out. Let's see if that actually symmetrizes that. And there we go. We got hey, pip joint dot R. See, it's flipped the object, the role is going to be completely fine. So there's no need to fix that up and it's going to rename it nicely. So that's the importance of naming and naming conventions. So I'll do it with lowercase l this time, excuse me. So now with my bone selected, I'm going to come up here to armature, symmetrize and lowercase r. So Again, naming convention, very, very important. So now let's just go through very quickly and rename all these bones. To do that, we're just gonna select them, navigate here to our bone 
a little submenu and we're going to make sure we're in edit mode and then we're just going to add a dot l and in this case i've i'm going to stick with caps in my case so i'm just going to go through very simply and just name all of this after we've done what we should notice now is if i select all my bones by pressing a uh, if you have a bone already selected and you're using the 2.8 hotkeys just double tap a to deselect it uh, in my case as i said before at the beginning i have a different hotkey setup so now that we've done that we're going to go to armature and then symmetrize and we should notice that our entire rig has been mirrored onto the other side which is very very useful okay so we've done this now i've highlighted the importance of naming as well names are really important so we may think that names are only for organizational purposes but they also uh, have a very strong functionality purpose within blender as well because we're able to symmetrize an armature as well as other things that i'll be getting onto in just a moment so it is very important that we have our bones named correctly a thing to note though is that a single bone can only have a unique name. So you can't have two bones named uh, bone, for example. It has to be a unique name. And that's why we add the dot L and the dot R if you're working on the right-hand side. Um, and then you're going to go to armature and symmetrize. Very simple. Okay, next, we're going to enable symmetrical editing. So let's just say you've done all of that and you have your symmetrical uh, armature setup. Well, what if, for example, you're editing it and then you realize, hey, I actually want to move this joint up just a little bit up here. Well, then I'd have to come in here, maybe edit that, get it perfect on both sides. Maybe let's see, it'd have to go like this, wouldn't I? And try and scale it and it just becomes a little bit of a mess. Or alternatively, I could just delete this whole side, edit this side again, then re um, make it symmetrical once again. Again, another possibility. However, some of you may have noticed if we press N or come over here to this little arrow in the corner here and we look at tool, there's going to be an X axis mirror option. Now, if we check this X axis mirror option, and you'll also uh, be able to find it in the active tool up here, um, we're then able to effectively edit on a mirror. However, again, back to our naming conventions, if, for example, this is named something completely different, like arm.d, I don't know, and then we try and uh, edit this again. Now, this is being able to edit. However, that's because of uh, the way our bones are connected. So let's just rename this one as well. And let's just take a look. Notice now, because of the names are different, so it's not r, it's d in this example, we're no longer able to use X axis mirror, which is a bit different to how mirroring in topology works. Um, it's all based off the name. So if it's L, it has to be R. Um, that's just the way it is. Um, I'm unaware if you can change that at all. If you can, please let me know in the comments below. But for now, uh, just always remember L, R, left, right. Uh, again, keeping to your naming conventions. Uh, just to illustrate how case sensitive it is, I'm just going to set this to R lowercase, and I'm also going to set this to R lowercase as well. And let's just see, take a guess now if you think this is going to actually move the mirror. And the answer is absolutely not. So we have to always remember it is case sensitive and that is why a naming convention, a convention that you are used to or that you're familiar with is very important. So let's set that up again and we should notice we now have our editing capabilities back and that is by pressing this X axis mirror. So now, just to kind of illustrate the point, in pose mode, this X axis mirror also works. Uh, excuse the poor weight painting in that case. But as we can see, we're able to then affect both sides with that x-axis mirrors. And it's all thanks to a very simple naming convention. 
So I hope I've highlighted to you how to uh, create symmetrical armatures and edit them effectively. And that is through a robust naming system that involves .l or .r or right and left. Um, and always remember that it is case sensitive. So if you do do this and it doesn't end up working, uh, please just check the bone names, check that there's no misspelling or weird casings. Uh, that is often the issue. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial and it has been informative. If it has, hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel for more information in regards to Blender. My name's Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com, signing off. Thank you.